I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you decide to come and join me for our block of the month. Today we're gonna be working on our first block. I am so excited for you. This block of the month, it is so beautiful. The theme is all about baskets. The name is Anna's Basket. Why? Because Michael's grandmother that taught me how to quilt, she, her name was Anna and she loved baskets and I wanted to share some beautiful baskets with you this time. We're going to be doing this block of the month for next eight months and every month we're going to be meeting up and making a section of the quilt. Today is our block number one and it is made with three baskets. Basket one, two and three. And I'm super excited to show you some tips on how I made my baskets. Oh, come on, let's see what's in my little basket and what we need for today. Look at this, it's all about baskets, laundry basket, basket blocks, and what's in the basket. The first thing that you're gonna need to do this block of the month is pattern. You can get the pattern on our website when you signed up for the block of the month. It will come to you every single month with the blocks and this time we have few spots left so please if you're just joining us in go to our website at laundry basket quilts signed up and you can join us in for this block of the month i would love to have you do it and thank you so much to everybody that already signed up so block one this is the pattern i'm gonna pull it out of the paper uh, of the bag so that way it's ready, set, go for me. And the pattern is just wonderful. On the front page, you get to see what we're gonna be working on it. So block one, basket one, two, and three. You have the baskets right here. The next page that you're gonna find it is all about the fabrics because you can choose pre-cut option or cut your own pieces. And we show you right here how to position the pieces and how to cut them right here on the right side and all the pieces are right here what required from each fabric so that's really nice and then you have your first basket and the basket gives you all the pieces you needed and directions how to do it come on ready set go I'm so excited for you so right there we're gonna start also we need fabrics and you can get this as a block of the month this project and you can have it none pre-cut just regular fabrics or you can choose the pre-cut option this is the option that i'm working with on my table if you're choosing the non pre-cut one the one that you have to cut it yourself follow the directions in a pattern and cut all your pieces they are beautiful i'm gonna be working with the pre-cuts one and i'm gonna lay this right next to me and show you all the pieces how they look as we go through all the blocks this video is not a full direction you need the pattern for the full direction this video is just little tips and quick uh, things that I wanted to share with you what I noticed as I was making my blocks so I hope this helps and then uh, make sure you follow the pattern for the full direction oh let's start it what else do I have in this basket and we're gonna need the ruler I'm gonna put it right next to me as well you can use one orofill thread right here and I also put this cute little box next to me it called secret stash because there is a really nice variety of colors and we can use them to applicate our handles everything in the blocks is pieced except the handle the handle is applique and you can choose Use hand, machine, or fusible applique. And every time we're gonna be doing basket, I maybe share with you some other techniques. This time I'm using fusible applique. So I'm gonna show you how I do the handle that way. And in your pre-cut option, the handle is already fused for you. And this is the option that I also show in the pattern. So uh, the threads would be nice to stitch around the edges oh how wonderful and this one the 2310 it's perfect for just regular stitching i also put in my basket and macrotex needles they're gonna be perfect you want to put a fresh needle and start stitching 
Okay, I took my pieces out of the bag and the first thing I'm going to lay out my pieces for all my baskets, separate them and select and I'm going to do one basket at a time. There are three different basket designs in this uh, little kit. So let's start and we, then we have a little so to star as a little accent. So let's start just one basket at a time. I love this block of the time. You know why? Because you get so much fun stuff every month. You're not only getting a one little block, you're getting a section of the quilt. And in eight months, we're gonna have the most beautiful, big, amazing quilt that we can display on our bed. And it's gonna be just stunning. And we're gonna learn a lot of different techniques as we're working on those baskets. I tell you, I chose some of my personal favorites. So come on in and let's do this. Your first basket, you're gonna be cutting the pieces with templates. And yes, in the back of your pattern, you're gonna find a full page 11 by 17 with all your templates that you need for this first basket. So please use those templates and trace it from them. Uh, cut your templates out, put it on your fabric, cut it around it. And I love to put my ruler over my templates when I cut so I don't disturb the edges. The handles for the basket, you trace it to your fusible webbing. But one step at a time. First, we're gonna cut our pieces, then we're gonna place them right sides together, just like this. And I'm gonna match the top point and the bottom point. And those are the points that I pin it first. So I gently pin it. Oh, this basket would have been perfect during Easter because it's such a beautiful big basket. I hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend and enjoyed it. You're going to start stitching from the top straight down. You can put extra pins if you need it so that way it holds in place. I just have the three right now and as I'm stitching, I'm going to pull them away. As soon as I pull them away and finish stitching, I'm going to go ahead and press my seam allowance towards the green, towards this beautiful fabric and the fabric that we use in this block of the month is from our seamstress collection and we will have those fabrics available on our website so don't you fear there will be those fabrics available we just got the first block ready and we want to start our block of the month so right there we're gonna finish and press then let's move on to the beautiful handle and I just finished both sides notice it pressed it towards the center of the basket and now the handle all that I did is I cut a background then I trace my uh, beautiful uh, handle to fusible webbing and cut around if you're doing it yourself that's what you need to do or you can open a package that I have already pre-cut everything and the pre-cut handle is in the package for you all that you need to do crease it pull the paper away. Now I have gently creased my background just like this. I fold it in half, gently crease. So that way I know where the middle is and I'm gonna go ahead and place my handle right there in the middle and center it up beautifully. I'm staying one eighth above the line right here and set my handle in. Now I'm gonna press it and I already did that right there. I pressed it and fused my handle to the background. The next step, I'm gonna go ahead, open my beautiful threads, pick the green one, stitch low, zigzag, blanket stitch, satin stitch. This is the time where you should practice those stitches. And I love this basket and I especially brought it today because all the handle, I use the cute little zigzag stitch around it and really add a little texture to my beautiful project. As soon as I finish stitching, I'm gonna go ahead, place it right side together, stitch it and boom, my first basket, press it, Follow the arrow for pressing and my first basket is done and over and it is just going to be beautiful. As soon as you finish your first basket, you are ready for your second basket. And our second basket, the design, there are two of them, one red and one blue. You're gonna start by sewing half square triangles just like this. And as soon as you finish sewing half square triangle, you're gonna lay out your basket. You Then you're gonna sew your half square triangle. Then you're gonna trim those cute little edges. And let's lay out the pieces now. I just finished sewing all of those cute little pieces. And you do wanna follow the pattern 
for the layout so that way everything is exactly as you need and the second basket is made let me clean up some of the space so that way you can see it the second basket is made from a unit just like this where we have half square triangles and we have a big half square triangle what i'm going to do next is sew them into the rows row one row two row three follow the arrows for your pressing as soon as you finish sewing the rows you're gonna sew rows together add triangle to it and in no time you're going to have this beautiful unit right here look at this isn't that delightful and let me flip it on the back all the seams are pushed one direction right there this is wonderful i add my triangle now i check my size square things up follow the pattern for your trimming and now it's time to add a few more pieces to it we're gonna need half square triangle on the top from the light background and then we're gonna need the base i'm gonna take a square I'm going to place another square right over in red. I'm going to stitch through the middle. As soon as I finish stitching, I'm going to go ahead and take my rotary and look what I'm going to do. See the stitching line right here? I'm going to place my rotary, uh, my ruler right um here right on it let me close this right there on the stitch line and a quarter inch away from the stitch line i'm going to trim it just like this beautiful i just trimmed it i could hear it that didn't cut it all the way so as soon as i trim it i'm gonna go ahead flip this open oh beautiful and now i'm gonna grab my ruler again place it right over match point to point but i also want to make sure that I have a, the size that I want it right there 45 degrees so I want to make sure that it's right there I match point to point but I'm also following the 45 degree line and now I'm gonna cut this in half in half just like this and look what happened when i cut it in half i separate it and i have a base for my basket was that nice and easy to create a beautiful base isn't that delightful all that you have to do sew this to this flip it open do it this side sew it flip it open center it up nicely so how do you center up you fold it you crease it you have the middle you find the middle of your unit right there you pin it yes this is how you do it you pin it just like this stitch it then you flip it open all the seams are gonna be going towards the outside we want to go away from those seams and look at it in no time you just achieve design number two our basket number two ready set go and if you can wait make one you can definitely make two the second one is made in blues and now we have our second basket done and finished all that we have to do is sew this to this flip it open and it is going to look beautiful with our first basket and i can tell you are now all warmed up and ready for another basket and now we are gonna start by making little um sawtooth star so all that you need in our next basket we need to make units like this how do i make those i have a beautiful square for the center then i have a quarter square triangles right there and i have a half square triangles for my low points from right here i also have cute little squares for the corners there are four of them and of course there are four of here and you have a little sort to start with all those beautiful pieces you're gonna start by taking this a unit and creating a flying geese unit and you know i have an amazing video called aurora on flying geese and so to star i recommend watch that video your so to star going to be gorgeous as soon as you finish sewing flip it open sew this side and now in no time you're gonna have a beautiful low flying geese unit i started them for you already look at that one two three and four 
and now you're just ready to take a ruler and trim it beautiful how do i do that you can use uh, the block lock ruler or you can go ahead and grab your regular creative grids ruler you know it has to be one and a half by two and a half every unit when i finish the pattern i always tell you so look at this right here i tell you how big your units have to be so follow that make sure you trim your pieces many time i'm being asked how do i do this that my quilts look so nice you know what i do i sew i trim i sew I trim and I keep going like that so that way everything looks nice and clean and every bit of trimming really does help so sew and trim sew and trim and you're gonna and oh do not forget pinning so really nice we just finished trimming this look at how cute isn't that beautiful there's a little bit more trimming i can do that with my scissors but i the majority i did it just like that and i have a beautiful flying geese unit where i'm gonna just now sew this little squares in a corner to um my flying is unit so my flying is unit to the center create rows once you have the rows uh, sewn together you have a beautiful block and you're gonna repeat that four times we're gonna need four of those beautiful so to star to have a wonderful wonderful row for our third basket and guess what i have already done that and look at all my beautiful sew to star next thing that i'm going to do is is i'm going to sew a rectangle right to it but before i did that on my rectangle i fused my handle i applicate my handle for our next basket and you are excited about this basket i can tell this one is gonna be so much fun and it's really gonna be allowing you to check your quarter inch seam allowance we're gonna use some strip piecing and some chain sewing for this one we're gonna take light rectangle and dark rectangle we're gonna place them right sides together like this we're gonna sew it using a quarter inch seam allowance and there are quite a few of them so follow the direction and sewed all of those the next step is going to be a pressing and look at it i press towards the dark i press towards the dark very important because for this basket pressing is going to be a key as soon as i finish pressing i'm going to go ahead lay my piece down and i'm gonna start by trimming my edge because now i have to section this unit into a smaller section of one and a half i'm always matching my line on my ruler with the middle seam i'm gonna gently trim it okay the beginning just gently then i'm going to rotate this and i'm going to go ahead and measure one and a half again i'm keeping my line right there why because it's so easy to do this and then you have crooked units if you place that line over that middle seam it is definitely going to be the center you don't want to follow the bottom edge or the top edge because maybe something have shifted as you were pressing you want it to follow that middle seam and match that line all right i'm gonna cut one i'm gonna cut two three four you should get four out of every strip set don't forget match that line i'm gonna cut one more to show you and as soon as you cut a bunch of them from all the wonderful colors you are ready set go to start taking them and sew them together and look at this i took a blue and a red one and i'm gonna sew it to a little four patches just like this sew it to a little four patches zoom 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 as soon as you finish you're gonna open it up open it up just like that and remember on the back you're gonna go ahead and open that seam open that seam then you're gonna go ahead and sew the next four patch uh together with this one i'm gonna first i'm gonna make the 
uh, four patches I'm gonna lay them out because to me the colors matter so I want to scatter the color all over that basket and I'm gonna go ahead and now match it up place it right sides together and sew it and we're gonna do that to create rows rows of four patches once you do that you're gonna go ahead and sew your rows together and guess what as soon as you finish sewing your rows together you have the most beautiful basket uh, but no base to it yet you're gonna place squares draw a line so through the uh, on the line then go ahead look at this again we're gonna use that trimming technique i'm gonna place my rotary and my ruler right over and cut it quarter inch away from the stitch line look at this cut it flip it open wonderful let's trim this side off i am so excited about this basket this one is a beautiful one and it's going to fit perfectly with all the other baskets that i have made look at this i'm gonna now go ahead place it right sides together and yes i love showing you the back look at it how everything is going the right direction i took my time i opened all of the loose center push my seam allowances in opposite direction now once you finish sewing you're gonna go ahead and look at it let me move some things up because i am super excited to show you all three baskets from our first block this is basket number three let's lay them out basket number two i'm following this beautiful layout of colors right there so right there oh this is gonna be nice this is basket number two of course we sew them you're gonna sew this to this this is gonna be all sewn okay by next time when i see you guess what this is gonna be all done hanging right here on the wall just for you and we're going to be working on the next one because i'm working on my quilt with you i'm not doing my quilt ahead i want to tackle this with you why because if there is anything that i want to learn from it i want to learn with you this is going to be wonderful and now this is going to be our basket number one look at this how beautiful it's big it's wonderful this is going to be amazing i am so excited for you i hope you have a favorite basket so we just finished basket one two and three and we did beautiful so to start and our first block of our block of the month is finished and ready set go we're gonna be excited to do our next one like i said i have a little bit more work to do but guess what i have the time and i want to enjoy slow stitching finish my little handle and I can't wait to show my baskets to you. I hope you share your baskets with me by uh, placing at laundry basket quilts on your picture or hashtag us at laundry basket quilts and please remember tag us on social media i want to see your picture and i'm excited for you to post and thank you so so much for joining us if you need anything please make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and visit our website at laundrybasketquilts.com happy quilting and i can't wait to see you for block number two next month.